Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn about how to do conditional formatting in Power BI. So while we're working on uh, the data set of orders, so what we have done is we've created a visual using table visual and we have order date, which is in the descending order right now. Orders that are being placed on our portal every day, previous day orders. You can see this is previous day order corresponding to the current day order and then the difference between them. So today we had 51 orders, yesterday we had 45, difference is 6 orders. So let's do a condition formatting on this so that when we'll, while we are presenting this to our business, they can quickly make decisions looking at the picture. Let's go to this, cell elements, difference number of orders difference, which is this column. Let's do background colors. By default, it just started doing gradient color, but we want to set up some rules on this. We'll go to this. Let's do rules. Now number of difference, value apply to total or values or value only wherever you want to apply. And if it is greater than zero in terms of number, Mm -hmm. then let's say one lakh then make it green color and the rule if it is then minus the number that is not likely to come less than or equal to zero then it should be red we can set up another rule actually then uh, it's not required yeah. let's see yeah look at this green for every positive number negative will be marked as red wherever there is zero if there is any zero it is also in red so there is no improvement in business there's a diff in the business and third rule if we could have applied we can do a zero or different color which we can try here let's add a rule equal to zero then it should be yellow Less than zero. Yeah. If this way, we'll have a zero as yellow. So we have we can define the such rules for our uh, presentation. So we can apply such rules for our presentation, and uh, we can then uh, showcase to a business how things are going on day on day. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. In upcoming video, we'll be discussing about how we calculated previous days and uh, order differences.